less than 10% of us will make it. There are over 480,000 young athletes in the NCAA competing hard and proudly for schools across the nation. But only less than 10% will make it to the next level. My dream started when I was 13 years old and had a crush and an extreme drive to be the best in my objectives. Connor Wilkinson was my first crush and boyfriend. One hot summer day after my tennis lesson, he invited me out to the golf range to hit a couple of balls. And that was the day my life was changed forever. I have been an athlete all of my life, and I can honestly say that I have never come across a more challenging sport than golf. Golf is 10% ability and talent, and 90% mental toughness. And only people who have played can truly grasp that concept. The more I played, the better I wanted to get. And that's when Mr. Gil Rivera came into the picture. Gil was a family friend and an avid golfer. He had played all of his life and taught me the fundamentals of the game. He taught me things that were simple, but crucial to any golfer. Things like being able to feel, have confidence and patience were mentioned to me before every single shot. In 2012, Mr. Rivera passed away, but his lessons will live on in my heart forever. His passing was not easy, but I knew that Gil would have wanted me to progress in my game and continue to strive to be the best. I began my search for a new coach throughout Texas. I tried several, including some in Dallas, in San Antonio, but after just one golf lesson with Rudy Gonzalez, I knew that he was the one. In the six years since I began this journey, I have accomplished many feats. I competed four years on the varsity team at my high school. And in those four years, we won four district titles and I won two individual team district titles. I made four regional appearances and was the first female golfer from Laredo to sign a scholarship with a division one program. So you may be asking, what is the LPGA? What does one have to do to get there? And why is it so important to me? The LPGA was founded in 1950 by 13 female golfers. It is an American association for female professional golfers and teaching professionals and is the oldest continuing professional sports association in the United States. LPGA is instrumental in sponsoring the LPGA tour which presents weekly tournaments for the best female golfers from all around the world. The LPGA is also responsible for conducting yearly qualifying schools, which determine a golfer's full or partial privilege on the LPGA tour. This is all based on a golfer's finish in the final qualifying tournament. Moreover, the LPGA owns and administers the Symmetra tour, its official developmental tour. Here, the top qualifiers at the end of each season for each particular tour receive playing privileges on the LPGA for the next year. People say that when something is right, you just know. You get this gut feeling that it's where you belong. I want to be a part of the LPGA because I know that's where I belong. Some people picture themselves in a courtroom. Others picture themselves in the ER saving lives. Others see themselves traveling the world, helping children, or even flying planes in and out of countries on a daily basis. I see myself walking down fairways with my caddy, playing golf courses all around the world, talking to kids, giving clinics, and using my name to make a difference in my sport. The LPGA Tour is not for everyone. There is a reason that out of the hundreds of thousands that play in college, only less than 10% make it to the pros. It requires much sacrifice, dedication, loneliness, determination, and more importantly, faith. Although many begin this journey, only few get to embrace the triumphs of success. In this life, we must not merely exist. We must live the life we love and love the life we live. We must find something that drives us and inspires us to wake up every day to go out and become somebody better than we were yesterday. 
For this reason, I chose the LPGA as my dream job, and I don't plan to stop until I get there.